What's up, Andrew Fanatics? Tech Fanatic here from AndroidRoots.com. With me, I have the Samsung Galaxy S3, but this video doesn't specifically apply for a Samsung Galaxy S3 because today I'm going to be showing you the 4.2 camera, the camera, the wallpaper, key and keyboard, and uh, clock as well. So, those four things I'm going to be showing you that came from uh, Android 4.2 Jelly Bean, and it doesn't necessarily apply on just Samsung Galaxy S3. You can get them on basically any device. I do believe on Ice Cream Sandwich or Jelly Bean. Or it could be only jelly bean as well. Um, but try, you can definitely try it on an ice cream sandwich and let me know in the comments below if it does work on ice cream sandwich or not. So um, let's just take a look at all of them. And before I do get started, I will let you know that uh, all uh, all files mentioned in this video, the wallpaper, the clock, keyboard, and a camera will be in the description below this video. So you can definitely check that out. Uh, so you can download and get it on your phone as well. So let's just uh, head down to clock right away. As you can see, it's a new icon right there. Let's just tap on that and you will see a whole new design. So if you're looking at your phone right away, you'll be able to see there's a big difference. Um, I actually really do like this new style. It's very unique and very nice. As you can see, it's just really different. The 9 is bolded while 27 is not bolded. So it's very new, unique, and different that I really do like. It's not uh, this plain and old. So you obviously got your little timer right here. You know, you can put in your numbers and then start it. It's going to count down and there's a circle. Um, let's just trash that. Alright. You obviously have your current time. You can add other times. Obviously, you have the time zones. All that. And you got a little timer as well. So you can time how long you'll be talking, running, or whatever. So, not much to talk about it. As you can just see, there's a different unique look at it. And I really like it. Just the black and white theme. And very simple and unique. Which I really do like. And, but I never do really do use the clock app, to be honest. But I just like it. It looks really nice. I just prefer it, but rather than the old one. All right, so the next one, let's let's do uh, wallpaper. So um, there has been a lot of wallpapers from 4.2 Jelly Bean. Even though it's not a huge update, it's just 4.2, and it's still called Jelly Bean. They still uh, decided to put in detail to new wallpapers, which I really do really like. So as you can see, I'm just gonna scroll through all these, and you can take a look at them. And as always, I have a link in the description below where you can get all these files, wallpapers, everything I mentioned in this video. So as you can see, you can just see the wallpapers. I'll just, uh, you know, just scroll it along so you can just take a glance at it. Um, they're really nice. Um, very different from the original ones. Um, uh, my favorite one is pretty much coming up. I like these two. They're really nice. I'm more of an abstract person, me personally. But it is your preference. So you may have seen seen some of these in the Android news. And this one's a probably a really cool one. So let me zoom in on this one. As you can see, you might be able to see on the camera or not. It depends on just the angle and all that. But it has a really nice 3D effect and looks really cool, which I really do appreciate and like. Very cool. And we're about getting to the end. So as you can see, and there you go, that's the end. So that's all of them. Comes with a lot of them, actually, as you can see. There's a plethora of them. So pretty awesome. Um, so that's the wallpaper. It's pretty basic. Now let's go back on, uh, onto the main two, which is keyboard and camera. Um, let's actually do uh, keyboard first. So let's uh, open up. Let's open up uh, my Gmail and type in a new letter. So um, I was never a big fan of actually sw uh, swipe, just because I had to install an extra application and then uh, use it, go into settings, enable, it and all that. But with 4.2 Jelly Bean, it comes directly built in, and you can you just have to go into settings, enable it, or disable it if you want it or not. So it's a lot easier and uh, much more simpler to use than actually installing Swipe. And I find this a lot easier to use than um, actually Swipe as well. I don't know, maybe it's just maybe it's just me or maybe it's just the app. I really don't know. So let's just try it out. And it'll probably be a little awkward because just because I'm behind the camera. But we'll try it out anyway. So we'll go Tech Fanatic 9. So Tech Fanatic. Alright, see you can see that did not come out well. So let's try it one more time. Tech Fanatic, and then we'll space, 9, and then we'll do, um, subscribe. And as you can see, you can see right there, I did subscribe, and I'm on the E, and it gives you a little, um, prediction of what you're gonna say, and if you get, if you let go of it, it will, uh, fill it in automatically for you, which I really like, um, it fills it in automatically, it'll save you a lot of time, and it's a lot easier. Me, personally, I've been using this for a while. And I prefer the swipe, this this type of swipe, not swipe um, from the app store, just this type of Google swipe, I guess I call it for now. 
Google swipe than the regular just typing on the keyboard. I find it much more efficient and much more easier to use. Uh, just my preference, it could just be me, um, but I have to get used to it and get a little more practice to become a lot faster at it. But that's just the basic uh, uh, gist of the keyboard. Now let's actually get into the main um, attraction, which is camera. And you've probably seen a ton of other videos with uh, cameras and all the other things. So I'm just going to take out my phone and my headphones. Now I promise you these uh, these pictures will not come out well just because of the angle I'm at and just in the scenario I'm at. Um, you'll get the best results when you're outside and just doing taking pictures of a spear and all that. You probably heard of it on news which you got the spear effect. Um, actually I'm not even using the new one. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so uh, so you won't, you'll, the, you'll get the best effect when you're outside. Um, as you can see that's the old one and that's the new one. You can obviously uh, the icon is different right away. So we're going to go to the new one which is the more bluish purple I guess you could say. No thanks. And now it says touch the focus. So let's hold it somewhere and tap and it'll focus right there. So you can see it's fo focusing down on my uh, Galaxy Nexus. Uh, as you can see on my camera. And when you hold this down, you got the option for the camera, you got flash, you know, so you can turn it on, auto or off. So we'll just leave it on auto for now. Um, and you have options for all these, um, just the temperature, I believe it's called, just for the type of color you want for your pictures and all that. And so it's a lot more easier, you just hold it down on anywhere on the screen and you get the options. You can hold it down here, here, in the center, anywhere. It's a lot easier than actually uh, tapping on settings and then going through the whole process and I really do really like it. And you can obviously zoom in like that so you can you can see the effect of it. And it is zoom in pretty great. It's, it is just the camera but as you can see it zooms in pretty close to the Galaxy Nexus. You can see the edges. Um, so that's really nice. So now let's go into the main attraction which is Photosphere. So let's take a look at this and I promise you these uh, photos will not come out well just because I'm inside and I'm, I'm at a very close angle. Like I said earlier, uh, outside is the best way to um, get a good effect on this. So let's just test it out. So as you can see the first one's done. We're going to the second one and it does, as you can see, it goes very quickly on uh, actually uh, getting these photos. So as you can see it's coming up. Now so as you can see um, the whole thing is coming up. Obviously I'm not going to render it. Um, it will take a few minutes to render, not a few minutes, but it does. Um, it could take a few minutes depending on what device you're using, and if you're doing a full 360 or maybe just uh, 20 photos, depending on how many photos you're using. But it's totally worth it. It comes out pretty much flawless. Um, not inside, but outside when you have less corners and less lines. Um, throughout the whole, um, outside than inside when you have walls and lines, you can uh, definitely uh, tell more when you're inside because of the walls and lines. But that's basically it. Um, those are basically the four things um, that's been released by 4.2 Jelly Bean. And please do aware, this, these are not official. Um, this not have, has been officially released by Google, but it is very stable. Haven't had any problems with any of them. Works very well. And you can uh, use this as daily driver as well. And um, like cameras, you have both apps. So even though if the new one fails, you can obviously just go back to the regular one and still use it just in case you do need it. Uh, if it's an emergency or anything like that. The clock is there as well. And you do have this new analog clock uh, widget as well. So that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, very well. It works very well. I love the wallpapers. The clock is uh, nice, new, and unique. Keyboard works very well. I really like that. I'm probably going to be using that every day. And the camera is just outstanding. Um, even though the iPhone 5, everyone was talking about the iPhone 5 and just came, came out with Panorama. And the Gal uh, the uh, Ice Cream Sandwich had it since the initial release of Ice Cream Sandwich. And now we got a whole new thing which is photo Photosphere that has come from uh, Google Maps. So which is crazy. It's gonna it's came from Google Maps Live View. So that's crazy that's coming on your phone. Um, very good for go uh, Google. Very good idea that they put it on phones. So that's about it guys. Thanks for watching. Um, very good video. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Just uh, give you a nice preview of what's to come on uh, Android 4.2 Jelly Bean. Thanks for watching guys. As always, I have links in the description below on where you can download the wallpapers and everything else as well. So just click on the link. It'll bring you to the downloads and everything else that you need to know about um, 4.2 Jelly Bean about these features. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you already have it and give me a big old thumbs up as well. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next video. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a big old thumbs up. Yeah.